Friday, and thank you for uh, joining me today. This is Brett Owens from Lead Dino, our marketing director and co-founder. I'm going to take you on a uh, spin through the system. So we'll look at things from two vantage points. First, that of your affiliates. So I'm going to show you everything that your affiliates are going to see, uh, starting uh, with the time before uh, they are affiliates, and then I'm going to walk you through uh, their sign-up process, how they will get access to their affiliate dashboard, everything they need to get up and running, share your site, track their own progress, payments, so on and so forth. So everything from uh, their vantage point first, and then I'll, uh, we'll put on our affiliate manager hats. That's where I'm gonna take you through one of my only Dino accounts, show you all the settings that I have going for um, one of our sister companies also running their program uh, through Lead Dino. Hopefully give you some ideas. Uh, and such on how you can best uh, set up your own affiliate program uh, and even take you through some of the specific settings so if you want to just copy what I've done uh, you are more than welcome uh, to do that yourself as well. Uh, I'm happy to take your questions throughout or afterwards so as you think of things go ahead and type in uh, anything on your mind into that go to webinar window we'll take your questions either on the fly or we'll save some time afterwards as well so I'm happy to hang around uh, as long as you would like uh, to review uh, specific set of questions, demo anything in particular. Um, with that, we're going to go ahead and get rolling here. So what we've got is our affiliate website. This is, uh, I've customized it to uh, this particular company site uh, look and feel, got their logo in there. So you can do the same with your own uh, affiliate site. So this is where we're going to send folks uh, to get signed up to join your program. So they're going to uh, hit this landing page, input their uh, info, and then they will be immediately passed through to their affiliate dashboard. So the nice thing here is that they can start sharing right away. So in the dashboard, we give them everything that they need uh, to promote your site, your product, uh, track their own progress. First and foremost, we're giving them this uh, unique referral link. So this is that classic affiliate link, which you can, um, uh, as an affiliate, copy and paste and put anywhere, uh, be it a website, uh, email list that you have access to, social media channel. Uh, the affiliate gets credit for everyone who clicks through. So I'm actually showing you uh, the um, profile here for Mark. So Mark's been one of our partners for a uh, little while now. He's got a blog, he's got a newsletter, so he can post his affiliate link there. Uh, from our standpoint, it counts as an inbound link to our site, so nice uh, from that perspective as well. We, uh, Lead Nano not using any redirects on the link, so it is a direct link into our website. Okay, so Mark can just copy and paste this, put it in emails that he sends out, blog posts, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, he can also make use of our social media shortcuts here, so these make life even easier for him, where he can simply come in here, hit that Facebook button, that's going to log Mark into Facebook, tease up this post, which he can then share just by hitting that post button in the lower right corner. So just two clicks, he can get this shared out uh, to his Facebook friends and followers. They will in turn see this post come through their respective Facebook feeds. As they click through, tap through, uh, Mark will get credit for those referrals. Same idea with Twitter. Real easy for him to uh, log in, share this tweet here. So we've got 140 characters to work with. Uh, as the affiliate manager, you can write the initial tweet, so sort of that template for your affiliates to work with. And then again, we're making life really easy for them, where with a couple of clicks, uh, they can send this out, and then they, they will get credit for anyone who clicks through uh, this tweet. Uh, now have Instagram sharing as well available, so your affiliates can access uh, the affiliate dashboard from their mobile phone, get their Instagram link, get that into their profile so they can also earn credit for folks who uh, click through their Instagram uh, profile end up on your website. So as they're sending traffic your way, each affiliate is able to see that. It's updated in real time underneath their progress bar here. So uh, Mark's able to see he's got credit for 1,635 uh, unique referrals to date. Out of those, 22 have signed up, uh, which means they've basically opted into um, on our, uh, the form that we have on our website. 70 of these opt-ins have purchases. Thanks to those purchases, he's earned some commissions. So you can see I've already sent out my affiliate commissions for uh, January, so Mark's not currently owed anything. But in the lower right here, uh, you can see he's made uh, over $1,200 being a part of our affiliate program. So we're not commissions. We usually uh, recommend paying per purchase and doing either a set dollar amount or a percentage of that sale. From there, uh, different nuances that you uh, could uh, different angles you could take if you would like. So for example, 
If you want to pay a different uh, affiliate commission uh, on, a, on a per product basis, you can do that. You're also welcome to uh, set up a recurring commission. So if you have a, a subscription product, you can pay your affiliates for a certain number of months or for the lifetime uh, of that subscription. Uh, what else do we have? So you can do multi-level uh, plans as well. So if you want to do, we do support two levels, three levels, all the way up to 10. So if you need guidance on your commission plan, let us know. Uh, happy to help you uh, set that up. Also show you what others uh, in your industry are using with success uh, as well. So I mentioned Mark's got a blog. Here's where you can get some banner ads, put these on his website. I've got an infographic here so he can take the HTML, copy and paste to put it on his own website. He gets credit for anyone who clicks through, so nice little resource there. Also got banners of various styles, shapes, and sizes, so these can go on his website as well. And again, these all have his affiliate link embedded right within here. Uh, newsletters have some old newsletters in here, so an archive of previous ones. This is what they look like when they go out to affiliates. So when uh, we do um, email our uh, affiliates, they land, this email lands directly in their inbox. Here's what we're talking about. So this uh, newsletter I sent out a couple days ago to our affiliates, letting them know that they can now get this Instagram link um, into their own uh, profile here as well, just kind of giving them instructions for how to do that. Two more things on the dashboard I'd like to take you through. We can have affiliates do a little recruitment on your behalf with our uh, invite tab, so they can invite other prospective affiliates to uh, join your program. And they can also create links that go specific to any page on your website. So that main affiliate link usually goes to uh, either, uh, it's probably going to go to your home page. You might have a separate landing page set up. Uh, this is how each affiliate could create a uh, link that's going to somewhere else on your website. Uh, so this means it could go to a uh, specific product page, uh, subdomain, even a blog post and they will subsequently get credit for any, uh, everything uh, anyone uh, buys from there uh, as well. And you can see over here in the right side, they can also track their progress uh, for each specific link right here. All right, now I'm going to get into the second half. We will open up Lead Dino. I'm going to take you through our content section and then a few of our key tools. So this is where you can kind of get everything set up. Uh, I wanted to show you the main points. You can get everything uh, up and running and start taking advantage of uh, uh, the resources that we have uh, available uh, as quickly as possible. So let's talk about that affiliate website I just walked you through. Here is where you can do the configuration of it so you can update your color scheme within your settings, get your logo in here. Uh, we do now support custom domains. If you want to put this site on your own domain, you can do that right here. Everything from the header uh, to the introduction, instructions and such, uh, this can all uh, be updated. What we do is uh, you can update the content uh, within our, an editor here, not only update the text, but you can also insert images, you can insert links, you can get to the HTML directly uh, if you want to do that. We do support custom CSS, so if you want to further style that page, uh, that is available as well. And then finally, if you want to collect more info from your affiliates up front, so hit and rewind here when we're uh, collecting info from affiliates, uh, up front, if you want to add additional fields here, you would take advantage of uh, our custom fields uh, feature here to grab more info from them. All right, back to that Facebook post that I showed you, the tweet that we make available to you, uh, our affiliates. This is where you can uh, write the content of, that, of those posts for the first time and then also edit them periodically. So I do like to uh, keep uh, everything fresh. Um, and updated for our affiliates. So here's where uh, I'll update uh, the Facebook post. So this is going to, uh, the subject line is going to turn into the title. This is the body that we're writing. This is the destination URL. So when our affiliate comes in here, they click their uh, Facebook button. This is what's going to uh, share. So nice to give them that shortcut. So really with a couple clicks, they can get this out there. Uh, they can always add to it, edit something if they'd like. In my experience, find most affiliates are busy people like you are, uh, like I am, and they like to just be able to click and go uh, most of the time. So nice to let them do that uh, with our content uh, library here. We also uh, can update uh, all those shortcuts here. So the tweet, you just edit the tweet, you can update it, uh, just uh, rewrite uh, the 140 characters you have to work with here that will update the tweet. If you want to add banner ads, I showed you the banners. Here's where you can add the banners uh, right in here. 
okay, when we're communicating, so now I'm going to hop to our tools menu, show a few of our key tools, and then we'll get into questions after tools. So if you do have any questions, you can type them in now. You can type them in in about three, four minutes, uh, and I'm happy to demo anything specifically that you would like to see. Okay, so our tools menu here contains uh, the affiliate newsletter. So when I write an affiliate newsletter, here's where I compose it. Uh, so with Lead, with Lead Dino, we have all of your affiliates' email addresses in there, so we'll do the delivery of the newsletter on your behalf, so you just compose it in here. Uh, I showed you what this newsletter looked like from the affiliate standpoint. Here's where I'm composing it within uh, Lead Dino itself. Uh, some other tips for writing effective newsletters. I usually like to time it uh, also with affiliate payments. This is always a nice way to get everyone's attention. So I pay my affiliates on a monthly basis. Uh, I think that's a nice uh, frequency. Um, keeps you top of mind with everyone, so it's a, a nice kind of benefit they get used to having uh, your uh, passive uh, income come in as in the form of affiliate commissions, helps keep them engaged. So I usually remind them in the newsletter when uh, payments are going out. I also like to uh, kind of give them a heads up on what's new like I did here. So with Instagram sharing, I like to give them a heads up on what's new available to them. If I've got new things to announce on our side, new product releases, I do also like to give our affiliates the inside scoop uh, in the newsletter here as well. They can go to social media, start sharing this stuff, and it's kind of a nice win-win for uh, both sides. We can also send out some automated emails. So these are going to go out uh, from the system based on certain events. So for example, when a new affiliate signs up with us, we can uh, send them this welcome email, which contains their affiliate link, uh, the link to their affiliate dashboard. So everything that uh, a new affiliate needs to get up and running. We can also send them a weekly status email, which lets them know how they did for the week. So the number of visitors, leads, and purchases that they each got credit for. And then we can also let them know every time they get credit for a new lead or a new purchase, send them an individual email. I have these all come from me, so if they want to talk uh, more uh, about uh, things that we can do together, they just hit reply to this uh, email, but uh, pretty uh, simple stuff so that um, it's just kind of straightforward. I'm just letting them know that, uh, that we've got credit for a new commission and uh, it's going out from the system. Uh, again, automatically, so I don't sit there and write these emails myself and send them myself also. So just kind of write them once and then they will go out. Let's get into affiliate recruitment. So two angles for you here, um, and then we'll do affiliate payments, which I see is one of our first questions, and then we'll get into more questions. So let's talk affiliate recruitment. So two angles here. Uh, our affiliate invitation email lets you reach out to new customers as they buy from you, invites them to join your affiliate program. So a real nice way to grow that uh, base organically, turning those new customers into new affiliates of yours. Uh, so you've got the ability to customize this email if you'd like, and then just click to enable it, and this will go out on your behalf. And again, a real nice way to uh, just kind of grow that program all the time and do so organically uh, just by reaching out to the uh, new folks uh, who are buying from you. We also have an affiliate network that we would love uh, to have you take advantage of. So we've got it split up by category. So what you'll do is you'll choose your specific category. So for example, if you have a fitness product or if you have a clothing product, you'll select that category. And then we're going to get you featured in here where you can talk about your uh, product. We'll talk about your affiliate program. And then uh, you can uh, uh, get featured. We will feature you to affiliates uh, who are actively promoting products in your category. They can apply with a single click right here. And then uh, they're, if you've got auto approval on, they'll be granted access right away to your affiliate program. So a real nice way to expand your, your sphere of influence, get more affiliates uh, into your program. So this is a nice uh, recruitment tool. To get into here, uh, pretty simple. Just hit the network tab and then just hit join ECA, which stands for ecommerceaffiliates.com. And uh, you'll be given access uh, to our affiliate network and be able to set up your program right away as well. Okay. Um, now let's get into uh, affiliate payments, and this is actually our first question, so I guess we'll just kick off the Q&A now. The question is, how are affiliates paid? Are the payments automated? So the payments, when you're, it's payment time, you're going to head on in here, hit the pay button, select the time frame that you want to pay through. So if I want to pay everyone through the end of the month, um, and let's say I usually pay it for $100 or more. So I've actually sent out most of my affiliate payments, so Jacqueline is the only one that's left here. So what I'll do is uh, I'll walk you through a payment uh, just for Jacqueline. I'll hit the PayPal button. Oh, that's right, she's got a restricted account. So normally for somebody, uh, you'll hit the PayPal button. That will tee up a PayPal payment from you out to them for the amount that you owe them. So actually, let me show you with Jeff here, since I know he does not have a restricted account. So we'll pay Jeff. I hit the PayPal button, logs us into PayPal. 
tease this up for $88.35, which is what I owe him. I hit one more uh, click here, and this payment is going out to Jeff. Now let's say I want to do that for everyone at once. PayPal MassPay is something we have available also, so what you do is you contact PayPal, have them enable MassPay for your account, and then uh, you'll actually be able to pay a bunch of people or everyone all at one time. Uh, other options, if you're paying via check, you would just mark somebody off as manually paid. Otherwise, Dwala or Coinbase would be other uh, electronic integrations that uh, we have available. Okay, let me get into um, uh, that. Oh, question on the PayPal fees. So then the PayPal fees are going to be paid by your affiliate. So those are going to go on their side. Okay, someone refers affiliates. Uh, they aren't a client and they sign up. Is it possible? Do they get paid? Uh, maybe if we could expand on that. I know we see we've got a few questions here. So maybe this uh, explains it. Um, if I want to give an affiliate $50 for each referral, how would I do that so that they aren't paid every month? So to do that, we're just going to set up a one-time payment. So we're going to add a payment here. We're going to pay for a purchase. We could pay immediately or we could delay a certain number of months. So if you're doing a subscription, you might want to delay that three months just to make sure the subscriber is still there. Uh, we're, what are we going to pay, a percentage or a fixed amount? So we're going to pay a fixed amount, and we're going to pay $50. And uh, that's going to be that. So we are, we are not going to uh, recur that. We're just going to pay once. Now let's say you wanted to instead do a recurring amount. Let me just walk you through that example. Uh, so if you wanted to instead do, say, a 15% recurring amount, I would change that to 15. I'm going to change this to a percentage. Uh, I might just do this immediately then so that because uh, I'm only paying a 15% uh, every time and then under advanced options I'm going to say I want to repeat it uh, and then I'm going to say uh, until cancellation. So we'll just pay that recurring subscription until cancellation. So those are the two ways that you could possibly set that up. Let us know if you have questions or if you want us to actually set that up in your account for you. So looks like we're good on questions, so let me show you how to get additional uh, support as well. Phone, email, live chat, can be available six days a week. Uh, going through the end of today, back again on Sunday, includes holidays. Uh, so phone, email, live chat, live chat lower right here on the website, lower right within uh, Lead Dino. If you want to circle back with me about anything in particular, just hit reply to any emails you got about this webinar. Those will go back to me. Uh, otherwise, I thank you for joining. Hope it was helpful today. Uh, stay in touch. We'll get a recording out to you as well here so you can rewatch this if you'd like. And then again, if you have questions, you want to circle back on anything, uh, let me know. Let us know. Otherwise, hope everyone has a great rest of your Friday and a great weekend and uh, hope to talk to you soon.